Microsoft just announced that Viva Topics is going away. Let's talk about what this means for you, whether you're looking into topics, you're using topics, or you were just curious. I'm gonna talk about why I think this decision was really made, how it's gonna affect you now, what's gonna happen when it's all cut off, and what the new solution is. Let's get into it. So the big date is going to be February 22nd, 2025. That's the date that Microsoft's gonna pull the plug on Viva Topics. That means that all of your topic pages, the topic center, all of that is going to stop working the way you know it's working right now. So why did they make this decision? Well. According to Microsoft, it's because of the evolution of AI and things like that. I, I think that's very fair. Uh, Viva's been around for three years now, and AI has come a very long way in just that short amount of time. We didn't have Copilot back then. AI was not nearly as advanced as it is. And compared to today's standards, it just seems a little bit inefficient. Now, here's what I mean by that. In Viva Topics, the AI would go out and look for potential topics. It would search the graph, it would search for things like project names or initiatives or technologies, and it would build a list of topics that would need to be reviewed edited and then published. Those would go on to a topic center, which is a special type of SharePoint site, and each of the topics would have a topic page. Now, what happens when things change? Maybe there's new management on a particular project. Maybe the project members change, the SMEs change for a technology. Well, you're gonna have to go back to that topic page and update that. And it gets worse if you're looking at a project because you've probably got a project home site, a homepage somewhere, a project page that describes the goals of this project, the people working on it, the project manager, things like that. But now you're also going to have a topic page for that. Both have to be maintained at the same time. There's kind of the problem. You could be duplicating your work right there. So there's the problem that Microsoft saw. Now, the way forward is actually going to be Copilot. It seems like Copilot's starting to be the answer for everything now. But this is certainly a very good use case for that. Copilot already sees everything that's in the graph. But before we talk about how Copilot's going to help Microsoft solve this problem, let's talk about what's actually going to happen on February 22nd, 2025, when all of this gets cut off. So first of all, your topic center is going to become a standard SharePoint site. In addition, all of your topic pages will become standard SharePoint pages. You can keep them out there. They will continue to work just fine. And they already exist in SharePoint, which means they already exist in the graph and can be discoverable by Copilot. Now, a big impact of this is going to be the effect of Copilot inside applications and SharePoint and things like that. You're not gonna be able to hover over a topic name and see the information about that topic. That one's going to hurt. That's one of the coolest things about Viva Topics and it's just going away. And the other big part of Viva Topics was how it worked with Viva Engage because you had the topics visibility inside there as well. That's going to revert to a simple version of topics that will be free for everyone using it. So you'll still have the ability to group things by a topic. It's just not going to be that intelligent topic feature that you're used to seeing. So what is going to be this new solution? Well, as you can imagine with Microsoft, we're going to be finding out a lot more in the coming months. But here's what we know so far. It already knows about the topics, technologies and projects, things like that, that you're already working on in your organization. It already knows these things and it knows based on context who's working on it. So it can get that whole picture automatically. It doesn't require the older AI technology that would just make a guess at what needs to be out there and then require a human to review it and publish that. It can get a much better picture now because of how powerful and accurate Copilot is. So it'll be crawling SharePoint for all of your authoritative content is what I would consider it as. If you've got a SharePoint page that's talking about a project with project members and all that, I'd say that's pretty authoritative and Copilot's gonna make a pretty good guess there that that's gonna be a topic that someone can search for. Now, you're not gonna have the hover ability 
uh, that you used to have where you can just hover over a particular topic and you've got that pop-up that shows all the information about that topic. We're, gonna, we're not going to have that. It looks so far, it looks like we're just going to be using the, the Copilot chat interface to ask it about this particular topic, whatever, whether it's a project, an initiative, a technology, things like that. And it's going to be able to pull in information from within the tenant and the internet to give you the answers that you need about that. If you're looking for SharePoint framework information, maybe it'll show the developers you've got locally who are or subject matter experts with this. It'll show you documentation and tutorials to how to get started learning SharePoint framework. If it's a particular project, maybe it'll put you in contact with the project manager for that, provide an overview of what that project is. It's going to be a lot more intuitive, a lot more helpful with, because it can custom tailor that response to exactly what it is you're looking for instead of just presenting everything at once. So I can see a lot of benefits there for that style of thing, although it is more disruptive, I'll say, because you can't just hover over something. You're going to have to stop what you're doing and probably open up a chat interface to actually ask Copilot, what is this thing? Now, that may change. We'll see. I think that if depending on the feedback from everyone, if Microsoft thinks that there needs to be some some other mechanism uh, to help out, then maybe we'll see it. I can envision something like maybe a context menu uh, where if you hover, if you select a word or a phrase and you right click, maybe Copilot can pop up as an option and it would immediately start a chat with Copilot with that phrase as the prompt. So we could see a lot of quality of life improvement over just normal chat we don't really know what this final solution is going to look like but we've we've gotten a very good indication so far another interesting thing about viva topics was it, it allowed you to ask questions about that now we know that viva answers or viva engage answers depending on which way you say it has the ability to ask questions we know that engage is going to still have the topics there the question is is Copilot going to be smart enough to tie the topic that it has gathered with the topic in Viva Engage and to be able to submit a question into Engage on your behalf? Now that I think would be a very cool feature. We probably could honestly do that ourselves with a plugin. So it's getting my brain kind of working a little bit on maybe adding that kind of functionality in just through a plugin, but maybe Microsoft will do this on their own. We'll have to see what they come back with. In the meantime, let's just absorb this news and um, pour one out for a poor Viva product. Uh, it's an amazing suite. I've been thinking about making videos on this. So let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in the Viva suite, any particular products and the use cases that you, um, you're looking at. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.